to do this but i'm getting a cease and desist from ellen's team and they said um that somebody's coming to pick me up right now in a black car so <laughs> sorry okay gotta go um shouldn't have read that tweet Good all right morning. <laughs> hello you're gonna be dis- you're gonna be disappeared uh-huh. the e-hive is coming for you <laughs> yeah by the by the be kind team Okay. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you tweeted, oh. vaccinated folk may still wear masks because they have asthma. It's heavy pollen season, fire season, air pollution, not wanting to catch a cold now that it's time for hot. People summer, and also uh, so people don't tell them to smile. So calm down if you see a mask person. Yeah, I think it's, you know, Jen, I was saying like this weekend, I saw another friend for the first time. We're both fully vaxxed. We didn't wear masks. We hung out. We I actually ordered food for the first time in for a year and a half, had sushi for the first time, hugged for the first time in a year and a half. But then uh, Saturday, my friends that I hiked with wanted to wear a mask. And so I wore a mask to be respectful because they and it's a little crowded where we hike, did a bike ride. We didn't wear a mask because we're way out in the middle of nowhere biking. So I right. It's it's I don't how are you feeling? How did you process the whole thing? Was it sudden for you? How did you feel about it? Well, it's very strange because I'm an anxious person and anxious people usually are very cautious and And I used to wear masks on planes before COVID because I have asthma. And if I get a little bit of a cold, it turns into a whole thing. Yeah. And so I remember you, by the way, you were when people were, you know, tips for sanitizer. You're like, people, I'm a touring comedian. Are you kidding? And you did your whole (laughs) kit of everything that you've been traveling with for years. The wipes, right? And all that. Yeah. Hazmat. (laughs) You know, what's so interesting, I didn't expect this, but once I was fully vaxxed, something just flipped and I... Uh, maybe I'm being careless, but I truly believe I can do anything. <laughs> and and yeah. my only rule is I won't hang out with unvaccinated people unless mm-hmm. it's outside and, and they're wearing a mask and so am I. But I, I if, if one unvaxxed person wants to come to an indoor party with a bunch of, a bunch of vaxxed people and sort of ride our vaccines, that's not cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I don't. And I do believe the science. Um, I just don't know the science of the variants that these unvaxxed people are developing yeah. in their little bodies right now. You know, yeah. I, I weirdly, I don't want to say this out loud because I don't want to be the opposite of Joe Rogan who says don't get vaccinated. But I believe in the vaccine so strongly that I actually think they're going to fight variants we've never heard of. But but I'm yeah. not yeah. saying that is a fact. But well, so I've been pretty good. I've gone to a restaurant outdoor only. Right. Um, I wear my mask inside at, at businesses that want me to, but hanging out with friends, I've been, you yeah. know, mask off, pants off. What? No, yeah. mask what? off. Hello. You know. Oh, hey, would you like to come <laughs> over later? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've started wearing a mask around. Um, no, I was going to say something dirty, and I don't need to do that. Yes, you do. Oh. On our show, you do. Yes, you do. Well, uh, <laughs> no, dear. I, I, don't how, I don't know how to operate a zipper on me or another person. I haven't worn anything with a zipper in a year and a half. I go right from my I workout have- clothes to my pajamas. Everybody's talking about how they haven't worn a bra in a year. I haven't worn underwear in a year. A couple of times when yeah. I've had to leave the house, but yeah. I don't wear underwear what? anyway. Yeah. But let it air out, you know? Yeah. Been airing out for a year. Probably, yeah. probably well, I was socially it's awkward beautiful. before this. Now I just I'm not really sure how to connect with humans. I don't know. How to, asking, I don't remember how to flirt. How to masks, huh? And I'm like, I'm airing out my vagina. Um but it was <laughs> Some people are just going to be a little nervous and it doesn't mean they don't believe the science and who cares anyway, because, you know, it's just yeah. let people wear masks if they want. Yeah. Well, I, yes, I, that's the thing. It is very clear. It's really is. I get that people are confused, but you go, it really, like you said, it's just very simple. If, if this guidance, this whole thing was, if you are fully vaccinated, this is what's safe for you. I mean, if, and you're right, the people that never, respected it in the first place it's like okay you you can do it too sure you can go maskless but you're the one that's going to get sick and die you know i mean it's uh, okay all well, right and you know a lot of people in the service industry like i was getting waxed i, I will say and the, the woman doing it said this is very vaginal know, was, this whole section this whole first this section whole is very section. vaginal related but go ahead mm-hmm. i was also getting my back waxed thank you okay don't mm-hmm. assume all right. um and she said you know I'm in this small room all day with multiple people and I haven't gotten a cold all year. I, I kind of want people to keep wearing masks because I don't want to get sick. And I think that's another thing too. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people from now on will wear masks in airplanes, trains, maybe even grocery stores during cold and flu season. I think that's great. You said you went to see your folks. Were you worried? Here's the thing. I, and I'm going to see my mom, who's 98 yeah. a, again in uh, June next month. And and that's I just wish the airlines would say abs- vaccination required, period. I just feel like the business would go up because well, we'd all feel safe. But I guess I mean, did you feel because, you know, you don't know if you were among the unvaccinated people, right? If you flew. Well, right before I left, I remember the CDC said it's really hard for someone with covid vaccination to carry yeah, it. Just to get it or um, spread so, it. Right. Yeah. So I really believed that. And I thought I'm I'm vaccinated. My parents are vaccinated. We're all going to be in one house together. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. And it's it's minimal so if they did get it they probably wouldn't even have symptoms so i really felt fine i can't believe that i did but in the airport and on the plane you weren't like worried about being around as many unvaccinated people as likely no because i i'm vaccinated i had two masks on and uh yeah i just really think i mean i didn't travel during the pandemic at all but 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 masks alone do did you work did your impression of your mother suffer from the amount of time that you were away from your mother in in person no, she lives with any. By the way, I talked to my mother about this and she said, well, look, we went to the casino last week. So if we caught COVID there, we could kill you. So we're sort of all in the same boat here. And, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And I'm like, oh, it's a morbid, weird way to look at it. All I right. said, I'm really Here. afraid I'm kidding you. you. The accent is perfect. because you just it was, yeah. It's like riding a bike, your mom's accent. It's, fantastic. it's like riding a bike. So yeah. I really yeah. wasn't scared because I guess... I just don't have a wink of neuroticism. Now, I yeah. the, I did find it interesting that to have the mask on the whole time um, was a lot. And I hadn't traveled with one yet. And I, I couldn't understand that people were traveling during the pandemic for fun. I mean, that yeah. mask does, you know, I'm always like my new game is hot flash or mask because I'm going through that period of life. So, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, it was it was sweaty on my face, but, mm. you know, worth it. Sweaty up in this who? OK, I saved this for you because. Here's why I, I don't we may never fully beat COVID because of the amount of COVID it's because, you know, the people that were gas hoarding, even though the crisis was two days and it's over, they were putting uh, gasoline in garbage bags and then lighting a cigarette and blowing up their cars. OK, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I put my gas in a Tupperware and that's where these people went wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And I brought it in the house. So Did I don't you know. burp it. OK. Different. You, yeah. you got to burp right. that thing now. Gas yeah. hoarding. Oh. Gas hoarding tips by Jen Kirkman. OK. Um, according to a new poll, one quarter of men in the United States are confident they could beat a king cobra in a fight. I'm guessing that's why we're going to always have people at gas hoard and blow up their cars and don't mask or get vaccinated. And OK. Um, think they're invincible. Although another presumably different quarter of American men don't think they could best a house cat in a physical combat. So <laughs> quarter of men complete. And they couldn't. They're, and, at least they're right. Right. But would you just say, uh-oh, what? Okay, grizzly bears were considered the most daunting foes, but there were still 6% uh, who thought they could beat uh, a grizzly bear in a fight. But fairly large percent of men think they could beat a, a king cobra, which I think you've discovered that segment on Twitter from what I can tell. You're, you, how many times have you had to say, men, I am only on here to promote my podcast. That is why. Yeah. <laughs> Do not DM me and be like, I think you make a great girlfriend. All I hear is, I think I want to wear your skin. It never <laughs> sounds normal. Also, men want to beat up a cobra because they're afraid it would make them gay if they didn't. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's already it's, it's already like, you know what? a snake. It's already like homo-y, right? It's like a, it's like a giant penis with eyes. Yeah, you got to beat that. Okay. A snake is totally <laughs> homo-y, says animal expert Stephanie Miller. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I love that you are on your podcast and elsewhere in the world, Jen, able to now, the, you know, your mask off and you're not uh, obsessing anymore. COVID lockdown over is you are obsessing about the right things about, you said Benefer 2.0 is giving you life. So you are back to life priorities. Benefer 2.0. Discuss. This is a win for Red Sox fans, Gen X women of a certain age, right, and Dunkin' Donuts fans. Ben oh. is a Dunkin' for life coffee drinker. I love it. I don't know how he's going to be able to hold Jen in one hand and his giant delivery of right. Dunkin' Donuts coffee in the other. But Jen is 51 and he's 48. We love to see. We love this. Yeah. An older woman, you know. Yeah. 
who's being pursued by a younger man, even if it's only three years in Hollywood, that's like 30 years. Yeah. And, you know, I hate the Yankees. I'm a Red Sox fan. And she left a Yankee player, not oh. for a Red Sox player, but oh. a Red Sox fan. That's yeah. going to hurt even more. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Yankees. I just think it's exciting. And it kind of gives me, you know, it gives you a sense that you can always, um, you know, I, I heard that Ben was emailing her yeah. right when he saw that there were problems with him and with A-Rod mm -hmm. and her. And it shows that you can break up your favorite ex's relationship 17 years later. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm all for it. watch out everyone I used to date. Yeah, me summer. too. I just I just got a couple of thought bubbles about that. I was like, huh. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. What, no. What's Dana Goldberg's joke about the uh, reboot of the L word? They're like, she's like, of course, they have to try it. Again. They're at lesbians. They have to try it one more time. OK, um. Because I listen, there's a side dream for me in all this that Travis does not support for some reason. But I think Jennifer Garner is going to be very uh, upset and, you know, potentially vulnerable and potentially fluid. So I I get maybe my big crush because I can go comfort her over the new Bennifer that is not her getting back together. And, uh, you know, she would be a win, fool. win, win. Hmm? She would be a fool. And then Thank we you. could have Jenny. That would be your name or right. Stephifer. Right. Stephifer. Sure. I'd have to go first. Being the bigger name, Steph always, yeah, Steph always comes first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I would, I would be the tail end of the donkey, Travis, for her, because she obviously is a bigger name. So I'll be the tail end. Does that sound as good? What would that be, Jennifer? Jennifer? It would just be Jennifer Garner Jennifer? and some woman we're seeing at Starbucks. That's what it would be. Okay, yeah, fantastic. Exactly. All right. Um, <laughs> also, you are again focusing on other political issues now that you're right. You're. Okay, uh, you said maybe California should not have legalized pot because everyone is driving 15 miles an hour on a Saturday in no traffic. Yeah, I, I don't know, Jen, what's... I've noticed that, too, when I... Are people afraid that if you go fast, you get COVID? I don't know what's happening. I think everyone's <laughs> full of anxiety. People are still I, I, driving with masks on. I'm just trying to get eyes. to my bike ride on. I'm like, what is going on? It's Saturday, go! People are going really slow. And, you know, on Twitter, people come up with reasons. Oh, maybe they were looking for a house. And I said, no, it's not anything logical. It is just people driving slow for no reason taking. And I'm just like, Burr. I mean, I have lost all perspective that I gained in the pandemic where I'm like, I know it really matters now, you know, just take it slow. And if someone is driving 30 in a 35, I'm like, <laughs> I got to get to acupuncture. I think it is. It's marijuana <laughs> and you're fully stocked with your COVID emergency snacks. So you're not in any hurry to get snacks because you're just munching in your car. Just, oh. Although yeah. when I when I see someone driving with a mask on, I assume that they're they're driving for Uber because they're required to to have a mask on at all times when, oh. when they're driving. Oh, that, that's what I assume. That makes sense. I, I yeah. haven't uh, taken an Uber in over a year and it's been delightful to not Me give either. a strange man my address. I hadn't used yes. any. I had to do all my I, I, I don't none of my apps to order food work. My right this old credit cards and uber i don't i was like i don't know how to i'm like someone that just came down you got so skinny in COVID. i just like i just landed on earth and i'm sort of like i don't know how do i operate again how do things work how do zippers and apps work it's gonna be... i know what's gonna happen on next monday when we go back in the studio you're gonna have us try and get all your stuff to work again no no i got yeah, it that's I what's did gonna it. happen I screen all day I did, except lyft is being tricky i, I don't know okay I can't wait for the behind the scenes Steph stories to come out. Watch yourself. <coughs> I don't I don't yeah. remember how to flirt. They'll I don't take down I don't, Ellen, they'll take you down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the opposite of you. I'm a ball of I'm a bigger ball of neuroses. I'm afraid to I don't know. I'm afraid to go out. I'm afraid to not go out. I'm afraid to wear my mask. I'm afraid to not wear my mask. I'm afraid to date. I'm afraid not to date. I'm afraid I just I'm a I don't I'm a mess. <laughs> All right, twenty one minutes after the hour. If you have not heard of the Sexy Liberal Podcasting Network, your podcasting superstation, you suck. I mean, yes. it is the, we have the smartest, funniest liberals in the country. Stephanie Miller's Happy Hour. We have John Fugel saying we have a house, Sparks, Frangela, Final Word, and Idiot of the Week. We have Bob, Bob Seska. Seska. Oh my God. We have Jody Hamilton from The Bunker. We have Start Me Up with Kimberly Johnson. We have Unprecedented. We have the smartest, funniest podcast, period. Get it now. SexyLiberal.com.